Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Airships Conquer the Skies. Once again, this is episode 2 of the version 7 or Alpha 7, whichever you prefer. This series is not just about conquering the skies, but conquering the land. Now, in the previous episode, we made the Genericans and we made a little, little, small, tiny, tiny, cute vehicle called the uh, the GLV Mini Tankington. And it did quite well. We managed to take over Dark Felbain and Nuyuk, or whatever that is called. And we're doing okay, but sadly we are in the middle of this map and as you can see we've got people all the way around us so we're going to be swarmed from every direction what I'm going to do is regardless of what happens in these two areas here, I'm actually going to attack to the left and down. Uh, or up to the top. Basically, a corner. I need to get into a corner. Going in the middle was not the best idea in the world. But, what I want to do really is take some areas over, see what I can do. And hopefully I can hold these out. If nothing else, I want to hold that heavy cannon area because I want to make a tank with a, with a heavy cannon on it. So, let's just see how we get on. We are getting attacked up the top, so I'm going to unpause it. And as you can see, oh my good grief, there's attacks coming everywhere. So, I've got an attack coming from the top an attack coming from the bottom. So, you know what? I think I've lost one of these areas. So, I'm going to have to hold one of them. Let's just move that over to there. See what we can do. Looks like the Vanguard is what they've sent at me. And oh no. No, this is the this is the area I've just taken over. And guess what? They've defeated me. And there you go. They've now taken over that area there. And it's quickly going to flip to this because yes, they're attacking me on this area here. Hard to hard to see, but yeah, it's uh, trust me, they're attacking me. Oh my good grief. That ship is absolutely broken. Look at that. I'm gonna move it up there though, so it'll crush that out the way. Yes, yeah, so here we go. Another fight, uh, they've got, looks like, one, two small airships and one slightly larger one. It is currently raining, so fires get put out. That's been taken out, so I'm going to order that to move over to there because I can. These things, I'm going to say, target, target the little one. Actually, target the one above it because if it falls out the sky, then it means it lands on the other one there. So these are all going to target. What's that mean there? Ready for command. So I'm going to target all of these, target that guy there. And we will start this one. So there we go. Look at my little ship there. It's oh, it's so light. Oh, that's not good. Did you hear that? Yeah, that there. Prong, prong, prong. Like someone's, you know, headbutting a drain lid. Yeah, what that noise is is suspendium cannons. They are very accurate, very hard-hitting guns. And that is bad for me because I rely on these dorsal cannons being able to hit hard. Yes! Yes! Good. Right, I've just managed to take that guy out. Oh, he's technically taken out, but not actually taken out. Uh, yeah, I rely on my cannons to not only outrange the opponent, but also out damage them. And I think Suspendium Cannons have the legs on me on that one. But what I'm going to do is just hope to take them out. I hope, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that my armor will protect me. I'm just going to try and take them out. Make sure they've got the cross there, so saying defeated. That guy is defeated only because I've taken out his command, I think. But I've told these to fire, and hopefully if I can take out... Yes! Again, there, we've managed to take another one out. So all we need to do is just keep targeting them. And as long as I can get a technical knockout, basically, is what I'm aiming for. A technical knockout, not an actual knockout. Um, if I can get them all to surrender or be defeated, that'll help me. That'll basically win me the fight. That one is technically been taken out, but I don't know why. It's still got ammo. I think the coal's gone. Uh, not sure. It also says water there as well, which is... Oh, yeah. Water, of course, for putting fires out. Anyway, so these two have, these two are gone. My tank down there is gone. I'm targeting the one at the back. Hopefully, I'll be able to take them out. There's the shots going in there. And I'm hitting quite well. Yeah, I'm doing... I'm trading well here. I'm trading very well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of these... Actually, they're all on aimed fire, which is why they're not firing very fast. There we go. Put all them on aimed fire. I can't put that one on aimed fire. Why can I not? That one is defeated. Why is it defeated? That's because its gun has been taken out. Yeah, you can see the gun at the top has been taking too much damage. And it's been taken out. That's a shame. But anyway... So I've taken these two out. I'm guessing I've taken their guns out. Yeah, that gun's been taken out, and that gun's been taken out, which is why they can't fire. This guy, however, I don't know why he's not firing at me. There's a suspendium chamber keeping us going, and there's a nice shot into the front there. That was pretty cool. And why are them shots looking all slow-mo? That's a bit weird. Has the game gone to slow-mo? That's really weird. Look at that. The game slowed right down. That looks pretty good, though. That is really weird. I've never seen that before. Anyway, we're going to keep firing. Taking that guy out would be... It's when I zoom in. Pretty sure it's when I zoom in. The game goes to slow-mo. I don't know why. Alpha game is alpha. Anyway, yes, take that guy out. It looks like he's not firing back, which is good. So all I need to do then is just keep firing away. Come on, lads. 
in your own time. What are the ammo situation? Ammo 12 of 20. So if they can continue doing that, that's okay. There's a shot coming in. Look at that slow-mo shot. It's going to miss. There's another one. That's looking on track. Nope, it missed. Come on, more shots coming in. Ah, God, they're all missing. I might. Shall I move them forward? Move them forward would probably be a good idea. Oh, my good grief. Why are this... I don't know why, but the game has basically crawled to a halt. Even though the... Fr this is weird, look. All of the st all the background, look, you can see their birds flocking away nicely and everything's in the frame rate solid, yet everything's on slow-mo for some reason. That is really weird. I've never seen that before in my life. Well, I could flee, but remember, I'm defending here, so that would be not good. Uh, can I move this guy up there? I'm going to try and order it up there, but it's not. You see the tracks going up. Come on. I actually hit some vital on their ship, you see. And most of these shots are going well wide. Come on. Come on. One just hit home. Nah. I do like them uh, dorsal. Them dorsal turrets have, uh, have, been, have worked out quite well because it means I can actually... Uh, I need that guy to move over to... I think there. This guy moved to there. This guy moved to there. There we are. You see the tracked vehicles coming on. And then crush. <laughs> we just crushed that there. Oh, right. There we go. Look. That's not great. It's moving above us and I don't know why that is the case. But we're still targeting it. We've still got target on it. So that's okay. There's the... Yep, there's dorsal turrets working well. Come on, guys. Oh, almost hit the suspendium chamber at the back there. More shots whizzing past. That's why I like these dorsal turrets, you see. Because, you know, the, the, the downside of... That's a good shot. The downside of land ships, uh, among the other... You know, uh, on top of the downsides I've already mentioned in the last episode, is that, you know, if you've got a gun pointing forward with a 45 degree arc, and it's out your arc, it's either above or below you, you can just raise or lower the airship. You can't with a ground vehicle. So, actually having these dorsal turrets makes sense. Oh, there's another suspendium shot coming in. As you can see, it's coming in. That's looking quite accurate as well. No, it missed. Good grief. I don't know why it is so slow. That is really, really weird. And actually... A bit broken. God, just missed. Come on, take it out. I don't. I want. I want to flee because this is going slow. But I do also don't want to flee because I know that I can hopefully take that guy out. By the look of it, at the moment, I'm not going to be able to do it. Or I'd be able to do it. It's just going to take three weeks. Even if I speed up to max speed, which well, that yeah, there we go. I managed to take it out. Right, fine. Whew, that was close. That was very, very close indeed. Okay, so. Managed to take them out. I've got a technical knockout on that one. That's been taken out. The other two have been taken out. I win the fight, which is good. We got them all the saints. Huzzah! A victory for the Empire. That showed them, lads. Yeah. Pip, pip, tally ho and all that. Anyway, so that one's been taken out. We need to refit that one. Are they still firing? Uh, lads, we, we, we've taken them out. We don't... We need... Oh, God, I didn't... Yeah. Hold fire, lads. There we go. <laughs> Look, we're hitting them again. Why not? Why not? I mean, we've won it already. It's just going to take a little time to register that we've actually taken this out. What the hell was that noise? Oh, I think that one just ran out of suspendium and then dropped out the uh, dropped, dropped out the uh, the sky. Victory! So we've managed to take that over. However, we have lost that area at the bottom. But we have taken this area over, which is good, so they're running back. Now, what I want to do is s refit that one. We'll go to Open Design, Mini Tankington, and we will refit it. And that'll take a little bit of time. But not long. Uh, enemy spies sabotage construction of GLV mini, mini tankington. Ah, so it's knocked it down a little bit. That's not good. Uh, it says I could, you know, increase my alert states, but I really don't want to do that. Doing that would be bad. Right. Because I'd, I'd lose money. And as you can see at the top, I've got almost none of it. Right, anyway, so it's a, a new episode. So I was going to make a new a new boat. What I'm going to do is uh, open design. I'm going to refit that one there. And there we go. That's a refit there going on. So that's all refitted. And what I want to do then is build another vessel. And someone suggested make a fairly decent uh, heavy heavy tank, like a really big chunky thing. And that's the thing I'm going to go for. Let's go for create a land ship. Now, what they actually said was, let's make a flak bus, right? Something that's quite low to the ground. And it's got loads of flak turrets on the top. I actually like that idea a lot. So that's what we're going to be building. Let's go for a set of... What do we want to go for? Well, 
I think for propulsion, we're going to go for, we could go for spider's legs. I'm not going to go for a, a tracked vehicle, I, although that would keep it low. What I want to do is have something that can maneuver anywhere along the map. The problem with the tracks is also, although they're quite cheap and they hold a lot and they're sturdy, they can't really go up mountains as you've seen. So I want to have something like legs where it can climb up and down. So let's have a look at large legs. They are... They weight a thousand. They generate a bit of propulsion, but uh, four uh, massive four-legged base for giant war stompers. Spider's legs. Eight legs. This lens should perform very fast and stable and strong. However, the spider's legs use a lot more coal. Would medium legs do? I think that would do, you know, I think the spider's legs we can leave for another one. And this is quite big already, I mean, you know, if we have a big flat, it's not a flak bus, it's more like a flak, uh, it's like a death, it's a, it's a movable death tower, basically. Anyway, we're going to go for that, and as always, we want to go and figure out where's the, that's a bit weird, the ladders are there, but the actual exit point's there. Glitches! Right, let's go for a ammo store, there, and there, okay, two ammo stores. And then we need some sort of fire point. And we also need some sort of coal supply. So let's go for resources. And it would be coal start, which is slightly larger than I wanted it to be. Okay, what I'll do then. Do I need two ammo stars? I don't think I need two ammo stars. Let's go for a coal store there. And if we go for an ammo store there, and then in between the two, we go for a fire point, okay? That makes sense to me. And then we want some sort of... I guess we want some sort of... Uh, well, where's the center of the ship? Is there actually a center? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there isn't really a center. Oh, there is, but it's, you know, it's not. It's, uh... Like that. That's the center, basically. And then what I want to do, I want to put that as my supply hatch at the top, but I don't really need a double supply hatch, do I? One of them would do. Nah. What I want to do is put my weapons on the top. Let's do that. Let's put the weapons on, and then that could, uh, that'll help me out, because I don't want it too tall. Having it too tall would be quite bad. Let's go for the flak cannon. That's okay. We could make it a little bit wider if we needed to. We could put one in the center there and just prop a flak it. What I was going to do, though, is have a crow's nest. But it doesn't mean I say I can't have a crow's nest at the front. There we go. So that is our flak on the top. We would like a turret at the front. Oh, bomb bay. I don't think a bomb bay would work on this. Oh, imagine that. Having a walker, but then having a massive outstretched bomb bay. So it just does that. So it's like a big curved act over bomb bay. And you just drive in front of someone and drop bombs on them. <gasps> I think we're. I think that's what we're going to be building next episode. <laughs> right, okay. So we need some sort of... Um, we need some sort of quarters. So I'm going to go for quarters at the back. And recommend a crew 21. Let's go for Air Sailors 24. That makes sense, because by, by the time we put the front ones on, that should work out. So, we need supply hatches, and we can't give commands. So, we'll go for a... I think we'll just go for a cockpit. I don't think we need anything more than that. We'll go for a supply hatch. Yep, there we go. There's the supply hatches. The... Actually, what we're going to have to do is edit it a little bit, because I'm going to get rid of these and that. I want to put a repair bay in. We'll put a repair bay in there. We will put a... We could put a bridge in if we really wanted to, but I don't know. What's a, what's a point in a bridge? Um... Without bridge, blah, blah, blah. Provides five command. How much command do we get from a... Other one? A cockpit. One command. Hmm. I'm not sure. I do want a crow's nest, and I'm going to put the crow's nest... Ah, I can't put it anywhere. It needs to go up there, you see. Something like that. That would work out. But the only way to do that would be to have some sort of... Actually, I'm going to put the crow's nest at the back. Like that. And then have little corridors like that, you see, connecting it up. <laughs> Makes sense, actually, having corridors run down either side. 
Or right around the top and bottom. So you can go right up and down. That makes sense to me. Uh, right. And I think we'll do the same thing up here. And then on the top of that, what I want to do is have... Do I want to have... I was going to say we could have at the front up there... Could have a rifle. No, we can't because of the way that works. Right, we're not going to do that. I think what we're going to do instead, because we haven't yet got one, is have a guard barracks. There we go. So, I recommend a crew... Uh, 30... Uh, 23. Actually, no, we don't. Is it guard barracks? Mm, actually, no. See, we need... Is that what we want? I think so, but... Am I missing quarters? Guards three. No, that makes sense. I think that's about right. Need supply hatches. So what I could do, I could get rid of... Ah, see, these corridor hatches we need. I could put that there. Actually, I could get rid of them two. And put the supply hatches like that. One and two. No. That makes sense, actually. Does that... How does that fit in? Oh, because you can get up that way. Yeah, that's fine. And then we want a... We can't give commands yet. So, bridge has to go somewhere. No, a cockpit has to go somewhere. Problem is the bridge you can't get up from the top. Put the bridge right at the back. <laughs> Could do that. Could do that. Bridge sticking out the front. Hmm... I don't like the look of that. Do we need a guard post? Yeah, of course we need a guard post. Because if this thing gets taken over, we are well screwed. See, the problem is that the previous alphas, or the previous updates, the, the enemy didn't really use, like, assault tactics. But now it does. So that's not good. That's not good at all. So we need a cockpit. We need... Supply hatches. Get rid of these at the back. Crow's nest can work there, yeah. Because it can go along and then up. That's fine. A bridge can go there. No, a cockpit can go at the back there. Yeah. And then supply hatches down there. That would work. But I don't like the idea of the bridge being at the back. I like it. At the, I like the idea at the front. So let's do that. Let's... You know what? No, it's gonna it's gonna take too long. It's gonna take too long. Okay, it would be a massive fart on to change everything. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna leave it as is. So at the front we've got we need a guard barracks again. So we'll put guard barracks on that one there. Guard barracks, and then we need some sort of supply hatching system. So one can go there, one can go there, and one can go there. I guess that would have to do. Corridor to go there for no reason whatsoever, other than to make it flat. And there we go. Armor. We're going to go for. Well, we could have steel armor, but steel armor on this thing would make it... It actually increases the... It, it does increase the the cost of it, but not by a great deal. Right, so let's go for wood armor. Wood armor is absorbs 1 blast damage and 3 piercing. Steel armor, 12 blast damage and 6 piercing. Steel wall is 5 and 3. Brick wall is just you get HP. And stone wall is similar to that. Wood wall... Hmm... If we go for steel wall. That really cheapens it down. That really cheapens it down. And it gives us about the same. No match against heavy weapons fire, but able to deflect small arms fire. Hmm. I think, you know, steel, I think steel armor is still the way to go. Even though it's going to cost more, I think the fact that this is a vehicle that goes underneath something and just weathers the fire and just keeps flacking everything away, I think that is the way to do it. I think that's what we're going to do. Right, so we're going to go to paint. We're not going to paint it. We could put a wooden nameplate on it. A large steel nameplate. I think we're going to go for that. Yeah, like a nice nameplate. Where do you want to put it, though? I think there. Nice. We could go for a large mouth. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, some nice gold leaf. Like right around the top. No. Medium roundel. Like there. Oh, you can put them in there like that. No, you can't. Okay. Mm, don't like that. 
Large caught of arms, a big spider. A lot of people were saying, oh, he's picked spiders. Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible. Ah, yeah, all right, sorry. Um, <laughs> Want to go for that? Oh, that looks evil, doesn't it? I think we're just going to go for the nameplate. I think the nameplate and... Oh, no, I do I do like the idea of having the coat of arms, but I don't like our, I don't like our coat of arms. I'm not... I, I don't care. I like, don't mind spiders, you know. I wouldn't say I like spiders, but I'm not afraid of them or anything like that. But still, I think we'll go for the eye. The eye at the front and then a mouth. <laughs> the, the small mouth looks funnier, doesn't it? <laughs> for some reason, it looks... Much better. Well, let's achieving change the eye. We're gonna remove the eye and put it further forward. It looks funnier further back. There we go. <laughs> Look at the state of that. <laughs> oh god, it's got a meme look to it, hasn't it? Right, we're gonna rename this thing. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be the generic, uh, oh, generic landship vessel. Um, <sighs> we've had a Flackington. Um, what we're gonna call it? What we're gonna call this thing? I have no idea. Hmm. It is beverages, green tea. Oh my good! What can we call this? The GLV Land Flackington. Flack. Hington. The GLV Land Flackington. We'll save the design. Save that there. And there we go. We'll leave. Because we can't build it yet. So we'll unpause it and we'll see what happens. So I really want to take over some areas. But honestly, I haven't got the money. Let me just go to Empire Details. I'm currently on lax for my secret police. I could put it to none but get more money. That guy is charging off down there. In fact, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to take this opportunity to attack back. Oh no, he's coming back to me. That's fine. We'll move back. He's coming back to me. With this, whatever this little thing is. I don't think it's going to be anything actually to worry about. No, it's not. Look at that. It's got a small vehicle there. It looks like it's got a machine gun. And oh my good grief, it is absolutely wrecking my... See that? It just cut right through it. Although, by the look of it, yeah, he's just surrendered. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to invade back. Come here, mate. It looks like I'm getting assaulted from that thing as well. But I think I'll be able to get back in time. There we go, and we will start this fight. So, it's that little thing that attacked me. My heavy armor looks like it's working out quite well. All of these are going to say attack. Uh, actually, we're going to say you. Target that. Target that. Looks like that's been taken out, so target this thing now. Looks like he's trying to ram me. There we are. All of the little Swarmingtons, the little ground mini tankingtons. They are Swarmingtons. There we are. Right, this guy, I'm going to say ram. I want to push that guy out of the way. Let's push back. Yeah. Mom. Whoa! <laughs> what the... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to use profanity here. What the actual shit just happened? Did you see it? It ramped, it ramped off it. That was like ollie ollie. It just ramped off it and went bounced off all of these and then went there. All right, then. It's because it's so light, but it's very... Do you see how floaty it was? It ramped off and then bounced on top of these, like, sort of shouting parkour while it does it, I imagine. And then landed at the back. Okay, uh, obviously this is alpha game, right? So, you know, that, I would assume, is going to be fixed because that was daft. But... It was funny daft, you know? It was the type of bug you don't actually care that it exists because it is funny. Let's go for a gentle takeover here and immediately what I need to do is move my things back to try and get back to Darkfell Bane just in time and it looks like I am going to manage it. Yes, I have. But also, they're assaulting that thing again. So, this is just a case of defending and defending and defending. It's because I'm in the middle. They've got the Renown dorsal gun. Some other guns. Big loading area there. That looks like a. S that looks like. I can't. I can't see any guns. I reckon that's a assault ship. Let's just press start, and we'll see how this one goes. So obviously, all of these are going to. That that's coming down. That's that's a boarding vessel. I know a boarding vessel when I see one, unless I'm wrong. But either way, every single one of these things is gonna target it, because I do not want. That one of my ships being taken over, one of my land ships. So there we go, it's swarming towards me. Is that. Oh no! It might not be one. I think it might be a bomber. Either way, it's on fire. 
No, it's got grenades. It's got grenades. Okay, that I thought it was. I couldn't see the grenades. The reason I said it's a, a, a assault ship is because I couldn't see any weapons sticking out of it, and I just did. With I know I just saw it. Oh well, that's obviously going to be a ground vehicle, then, isn't it? Captured? No, that's a capturing uh, vehicle. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a capture vehicle, but it has actually got weapons at the back there. It's got grenades. Anyway, I'm going to take that thing out. Looks like they've captured my tank there, which is not good. So they've captured a mini tankington. Right, one of theirs has been taken out. So what I need to do now is target that thing there. See, so this is a problem with a mini tankington. They can't put themselves out in terms of fire. They can't defend themselves when it comes to uh, assaults like that. So I guess it's just a case of seeing if I can weather this attack now. See, now the, the advantage I have is that these mini tankingtons are actually not very good at killing each other. Because they've got, you know, the, the rate of fire is very small. You capture, if you have a big ship, like a really huge, gigantic ship with loads of weapons, and you capture it, you're, you know, you're, you're mega books. You know, you've just won, right? You know, you get in, I've got a big ship, loads of guns, yeah? If you capture a mini ship, a, a, this, like a Swarmington or one of these little ones, it's only made a little dent. So there's a reason to have th that sort of thing. Re reason to actually spam loads of little ships rather than one big ship. Not as fun. Well, it is fun. It's, it's great fun to do this. Anyway... It's like I'm firing back. It is actually nighttime, obviously, as you can see, and it's still a, it, it's still a very simple looking game. But it, it's I like the style. You know, I I, I can get away with it. Uh, night, all da darkness reduces accuracy of all weapons. So, I'm luckily I'm l lucky that this thing has only got looks like wooden armor. You can see that it is wood, but it also has got like the metal strips on it. And I'm managing to take bits out, and I am chipping away here. I'm very surprised at how good these mini tanking tins are actually doing. They, you know, they are heavily armoured. I mean, they're pretty much the heaviest armour you can get apart from the special stuff that you can capture. But it seems to be working quite well. Oh, you little git! <laughs> the captured mini tankington actually just take the gun out the top of that. It was already taken out, so if, it, if it's targeting anything, I wanted to be targeting that one there. I could go for a ram, but I don't want to get too close to that in case they jump off and attack me, which is a possibility. Either way, ammo situation is getting worse. Let's just put all of these on aimed fire. I thought they were all aimed fire, but obviously not. Hmm. Flattering away there. Come on. Come on, finish it off. Problem is we don't have a lot of firepower from these things, you see. And we do, but it's all or nothing, really. Oh, that's what we like to see. I don't know what that is that we've taken out, but it was uh, quite vital. Oh, that's been... That's on fire now. That's the coal store. That's exactly where the coal store is. That is about to break. Let me just move that away. I can't move up there, sadly. Oh, they've got a fire on there as well, but I think they can put theirs out. They've got water. Zero, no. They haven't got any water left. Oh, no, because it's, it's saying this thing here. That's not good. What's that, what's that mean? Out of coal, yeah, because it's burning. That's why the coal's bloody broke. Uh, transfer crew to there. Can we do that? Yep, there we go. I'm transferring all the crew. So as you can see, all of the crew have just come out and they're now on the ground. Let's say move to there. Come on. Yeah, I managed to get the crew out in time. Move to there. Come on, lads. They're trying to move, but you know what the problem is? They can't move. They can't get up that track there. They can't get up. I think I've just taken that thing out. Yeah, I must have shot some of Vital and it came straight out. I've got the crew out. Oh! That's good. The captured Tankington just backed up and then smacked into something, even though that's surrendered. Whew, that was a close fight, actually. That could have gone uh, many different ways. Let's victory on that one. And what I'm going to have to do immediately is go back to this area here. But, as you can see, it's not going well now because I need to... I've lost that one and that one's damaged. But I do need to go back. I can't... Ford not to and I think I'm just gonna lose out on it. Yeah, they're gonna take that over. Oh my good grief That's what they've just assaulted me with three vanguards Well, you know what? I'm gonna have to click start and they're gonna win that and I, what I'm gonna do immediately is stop And I'm gonna turn them things around because there's no way that my little swarmingtons can take them things out Not a chance in hell. Anyway, it looks like they are coming back to face me here What I'll have to do then is I'm gonna have to refit all of these things. We're going to open design and we could go for the land. Oh, we could go for the land Flackington, but I think it's going to be best to refit the ships that are broken. Obviously, I'm going to assault it down the bottom. That's not really a problem because I've got some defenders there. Uh, let's go for a refit. Open design. Mini Tankington. We'll refit that. And I think we're about right there. So I'm going to get assaulted twice. One there. Hang on. 
one there and then one there, okay? So that's got ground ships, uh, ground vessels and airships. This has just got airships by the look of it. They're reinforcing that area there. I think I'm going to leave that. I really want that heavy cannon, but it's just not working out. So this is what the result will be with. It looks like it's them two flame vessels again, plus another flame vessel and that thing there, which has got guns. I not, I'm, yeah, I'm not confident about this. Okay, can I put it up there? No, I was going to say, can I put, put it on the top of the suspendium chamber? That'd be pretty cool. Right, so all of these, I'm going to say, they're backing right up. Oh no, these are the suspendium cannon ones again, aren't they? Right, so you target that. What I want to do is tell all of these, you target that, you target that. Oh, don't say that's been taken out straight away. They've taken my bridge out. Yeah, tell you what, them suspendium cannons are monstrous. I must confess, I'm pretty sure the game. I'm, I think I'm sure the game's been made more difficult. Which is a good thing because it was. Uh, it wasn't easy before, but it was. Uh, you know, there was a challenge there, but not, not like a, a really big one. Remember, there's no difficulty setting on this. Uh, right. So target that thing there. Oh, it looks like everything's blowing up. That's not good. So the little ships on the left have been taken out. I really hope it doesn't slow down because it's slowed down on the last time we've tried this. Um, so the little ships have been taken out. This one is still firing away. I've lost three of the six vehicles. That ain't good. I'm going to ram. I'm going to say ram there. Ah, uh, can't, can't move. Oh my good grief. I think I've just lost that vehicle. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that one's out now. So, what can I do here? Honestly? Can I win this? The more I keep fighting, the more these burn. I'm gonna flee. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to flee and I'm gonna have to run back. I've lost the two areas I've taken. I'm gonna have to flee. And now my home base is being assaulted by all of that. Oh my good grief. Two airships, one, two, three, four, five. Ground vehicles versus that. I think they might have the legs on me on this one. Honestly. I'm going to have to put this on rapid fire. I'm going to target that guy there. I don't have the defenses on this one. Right, there's one of them taken out. If I can just keep taking them out. I've got a lot of guns on this, like, however. Let's have a quick look at it. Yeah, there's a lot of guns, but it's taken a lot of damage already. I want to take these things out. That one's falling out the sky. That's good. Can we go to rapid fire? I don't know. It's got a normal fire. Yeah, we've got to see. I'm taking the suspendium stuff out. Come on. There we go. So it's now on the ground, but it's, it can still fire. Let's go for rapid fire. I don't care about the ammo, because I don't think I'm going to have time to run out of it, to be honest with you. Come on. Finish that thing off. It's not doing it. Right. Target the eagles. Target the eagles. Because they've got bigger guns. You can see they've got the dorsal guns. Which is probably putting holes in me. So it's trying to come... Oh my good grief. Look at the volley of fire. Let's have a quick look on the outside view. Oh that thing's broken. That thing is completely broken. That is not good. Because if this, if I lose this. I lose the game. That's just how it is. That ain't great. If we lose the game. I don't like that idea. That idea sucks. I don't think I can win it. Damn it. Nah. Nah. Just being overwhelmed. Urgh, that's annoying. So. No more guns on that. They're just going to keep pounding away. It looks like all of them have surrendered, however. I can't give that orders. The only way I'm going to win this is if these things, these guys, actually decide to uh, pack it in. As in they just go, nap, nap, and then walk away. These have all surrendered. These are all now gone. Uh, what are they called? Disarmed? Defeated. Yeah, they're all defeated. Yeah, there we go. There's my last thing gone. I was going to say the only hope, the very, very small chance I had was to basically weather the assault until they run out of ammo. And then they, because they're the attacker, they'll be defeated and they have to run away. But no, defeat. Silent Watchtower's gone. I've been defeated. Sorry, that's just how it is. I think it was a combination of me being in the center, attacking the wrong targets, and 
just being a bit crap. But yeah, I think starting in the centre there was what's done us in. So I guess we're going to leave that there. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not leaving the series on that. That can go and do one. We're going to start a new series and we're going to build that flak like that flak boat straight away because it's going to be fun and we're going to continue with it until I win one of these because uh, yeah, we're not quitters. We might quit after the next one that we lose, but we're not quitting now. <laughs> next episode, we'll start a new campaign, we'll generate a new map, and we'll see how that one goes. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. That one good. <laughs>